Hey everybody, happy Teacher Tech Tuesday. Um, today we're gonna talk about Flippity. And if you do not know about Flippity, it's a very cool program um, that I learned about at the CMC Math Conference last year that I went to. And it's a, uh, a cool tool that you can create so many different things like spinners, crossword puzzles, word searches, um, and groups and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you today. Alright, so today we're going to be taking a look at Flippity, and the website is pretty straightforward. Just type in flippity.net. Um, there are so many different options here that I, uh, I'm not going to walk through all of them, but they all have really straightforward instructions with them and a demo for each one. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorites. Um, I really love this one that's making words into these different formats. So you can first, if you want to look at the demo, you can, but I'm going to click on instructions. Um, it's pretty straightforward if you read through these instructions uh, right here. And then when you're ready and you've read the instructions, you're going to click on the template and make a copy of your own document. So the template is already filled out with some names, but you can change them to whatever you would like. So I'm going to put in my name, Mrs. Aruza. I'm going to go ahead and put in Johnny, I'm going to put Ryan, how about Sam, Landon, um, Joseph, um, you get the point and you would just keep typing them and I'm just going to leave the rest of the names as they are. Um, once you've typed in all the names in the first column here, the way that you like them, you just click file and publish and this is pretty much the same with any Flippity document. You just publish it to the web and you say okay when you're ready to publish it. And then what you can do here is you'll see at the bottom there's a second tab that says get the link here. You tap on the link and go to it and then you have your words. So you see the names that I typed in and then the ones that I just left. So there's all these different um, types that you can have. This one's nature can also get your names in sign language um, in ASL. You can do it with blocks, you can see. You can do keyboards, okay, um, LED lights, Legos, that's a pretty cool one. Um, I like the license plates, okay. Um, there is, um, I think, eight character minimum or maximum on the license plates, and there's actually an additional directions for the license plate one down further here that you can customize with colors and there's a separate template for that. Um, this one's just more of a straightforward template with um, one color for each name. Uh, and then there are periodic tables. There's sand. Your name is written in sand. That's pretty cool. Um, there's scrabble tiles. So as you can see I'd have to modify mine a little bit because it's going off of here. Um, you have signs. I like this one. And then you have video games. So your font is all in video games. So that's just one flippity activity that you can do. But if I take you back to the flippity site, there are so many others. I love this one that you can create a, um, a, a spinner with anything on it that you want. So you can actually go ahead and put in your student names. Again, I'm just going to use their example here. Um, and publish it so that you can see how it works. So they already have a bunch of names as examples, but you would just type in your own names over the top if I wanted to add my name in here and then go ahead and publish that once you have all your names typed in. And then you would follow the link on that second tab on the bottom here to your spinner that you've just created. And you can spin it. And there you go. You can see that I'm on there, Mrs. Bruza and all the other names I just kind of left. So I can show you this real quick. But the great thing about the spinner one, okay, you can do it like this, okay, you can click it. You can do a lineup. You can put it in groups. Look at that, groups of two created so quickly. Groups of three, boom, groups of four. They will create the groups for you. Or if you wanted your class to be split into teams, it's amazing, you can even do a seating chart type thing here. Um, and then they even have more, up to groups of 12 or 12 teams, it's pretty cool. So that's another one that I really enjoy using. Um, 
These word searches and crossword puzzles are great reviews for doing for a test or a quiz, so I use those pretty frequently too. Um, for each chapter, I make a crossword puzzle review with the vocabulary that I copy and pasted from my textbook, so that's another one. Um, this, this one I love. We actually do, for a lesson in probability, a rock, paper, scissors tournament, and this is a wonderful tool to be able to make a quick bracket. Um, so I'm just going to put in a couple of quick names here. Again, I'll put Mrs. Druza and Ryan and Landon. Oops, I spelled my own son's name wrong. Um, Landon and Shannon and Beth and Alyssa and Chris and CJ and Alex. I'm just listing my siblings and my children and my husband, by the way. Um, and so, yeah. And what you would do, again, publish to the web once you have all of the names typed in. Now, the brackets, you can put up to 64 competitors, I believe it says. That tells you how many you can do in the directions. Um, and so it says this was already published. Maybe I got a different copy. So we'll see what happens here. So you go here, and this is what I love about this, is that you can keep this up on your screen. And then you can see, like, if I'm doing a real quick tournament, like a rock, paper, scissors type thing, I can say, oh, Mrs. Bruiser won, Landon won, Beth won, CJ won, Alex won. And then you can keep clicking down the line until you have a winner. I love this bracket. Um, and then, yeah, so your students can see kind of who won. I'm just going to quickly pick some here so I can have a winner. And... Yeah, so they use presidents as their um, example. And then, yeah, so you've got a winner there in the middle. You can print this up. You can change up the brackets or reset it. Um, you can switch them up, switch up the partners. Um, so it's really amazing. Love this one. So as you see, again, Flippity has just a ton of really cool game, matching games. I really like the certificate quiz too. You can create a quiz and at the end of the quiz, once they get them all correct, um, it'll give them a certificate that they completed the quiz. Um, you can, uh, if they get the questions wrong, it actually has them go back and re-answer them. So this is another cool one. Uh, but so many cool things on here. Hangman, bingo, um, spelling words that you can, a typing test that you can do uh, with your students and modify it to your actual student's name. So really super cool flippity guys check it out so I hope you guys enjoyed today's teacher tech Tuesday tutorial um, I love flippity um, there are so many cool things that you can do with it so if you have any comments questions please hit me up and happy teacher tech Tuesday